Hey everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I'm Mitch and this is part two of my sunset swipes. Uh, I just did one and I'm going to do another. I filmed this as two separate videos so you can click on one and not have to watch the other one and to save me on editing. So let's go down onto the table and let's start pouring. So I have my round here taped up again uh, as I normally do with the scotch tape. Uh, I use the paint block technology. It really helps keep the paint and the resin from the back of the surface. And I'm going to use the same color scheme I used in my last sunset pour. I'm going to try and put less yellow on there this time and a bit more of the blue. I did lose a lot of blue, even though I did say I didn't want too much blue. I've got my board here taped up as usual, and I'm going to use the pillow paint that I used in my last pour and all the scrapings. I'm going to use that as the base for this one. I don't like to waste paint and this paint is perfectly good to use as a pillow. So I'm going to put down first my white paint. I'm going to do half and half. And you don't need to cover the entire surface because the paint will spread and move and we are putting quite a lot of paint in the middle. Then I'm going to put my light blue paint because I have quite a bit of this. And my goal is to use them up. So what I might do is I might mix the two samples together and then I'm going to use the drippings, which turned out this really nice pale blue, baby blue, I should say, it's not really pale. Okay, so first color we wanna put down. Now I'm out of the phthalo blue. I used that all up, which is perfect. So I'm going to go on with my Australian, oh, sorry, Southern Ocean Blue. I don't know why I call that Australian. It's part of the Australian Matisse line. So Matisse Southern Ocean Blue mixed with this little piggy lakeside and Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green. I'm going to put my colors slightly higher up so that I see more of them and I don't spin too much off. Then my custom blue, this was TLP Blue Eyes, this little piggy frost, and some Matisse Cobalt Teal. Again, as these paints are all leftover paints, I'm not exactly sure what their exact formula is, but I will list all the colors that I use in the description box and on the side here. Okay, then we will go with Matisse Dark in Purple. Actually, I'm going to use a new little piggy pigment. Just got this in the mail with watermelon and I love how watermelon looks. So I'm going to use King of Pain as well. This is a beautiful deep blue Payne's gray color. It looks black like very almost black black, uh, but it does have the most amazing blue color shift or hue. It does have the most amazing blue color. It's very, very deep. Okay, next color is going to be the Matisse Dioxazine Purple. did take over a little bit last time, so I'm going to hold back on that. Then I'm going to put a little bit of this little piggy pinwheel in this one for something a little bit different. Pinwheel is a lavender color with a blue color shift. Again, I always say the little piggies are really pretty because they're all really pretty. Then this little piggy, Aspen. And I kind of lost this a little bit last time, so I'm going to drizzle that some more over everything. And you know what? Let's use up what I've got in here. Do you want to see some more of this? Great, that'll allow me to mix up a fresh batch of Aspen next time I want it. 
then we'll do the dark yellow. Again, going to hold back on this this time because it did show up quite a bit. That should be enough. And then this little piggy submarine. Now, another thing to remember when you're swiping is you're literally pulling the paints and pushing the paints into one direction or another. So if you're swiping from top to bottom, your paints are going to move downwards naturally. So they're going to come from here and they're going to shift down slightly. So I've got to try to remember that when I swipe this time that I leave enough space at the bottom for my paints to actually swipe. That's why I lost a lot of the blue in the last one. But we learn from that. Then our orange. Again, this was Matisse Cadmium Orange mixed with Red Earth Ink. Could thin it out a little bit, but not going to worry. Then this little piggy Grenache. I want to go light on the Grenache this time because that did show through. And I want to focus a little bit more on the pinks. So we'll put this little piggy groovy. Don't know why my spinner wants to keep turning this time. This little piggy Venus. down a little bit as well. And this little piggy watermelon. Okay, then we've got one more. That's our interference pigment which is this little piggy macaw. So there are a lot of colors on here, but you can see how they all interact with each other. Give a really nice pleasing result. So now I'm just going to tilt this downwards to center my design and I'm going to walk it down rather than just moving it all in one big blob and then bring it up a little bit because we're going to swipe downwards. I'm going to go around with my finger, blur that edge. Please don't skip this step, especially if you're in Australia, because if you do, you'll end up with a ring around your paw not necessarily the best looking thing when it dries. Okay, wipe that off, wipe my finger, and time to swipe. So we're going with the white first. Again, Atelier Titanium White for my cell activator. And just lightly applying that. That really worked last time. I think that solved my problem having too much on there. And then the Payne's Grey. Okay. And again, just going to Make sure I've got enough off. I'm just shaking my spatula, my swipe tool. Okay, and let's swipe. I don't want that to come up. 
So I'm going to stop, reapply the cell activator. I'd rather stop and redo it than continue and be unhappy. Okay. Again, evening it out. And then I'm going to go from this way. Okay. That's better. A little bit of patience and stopping to swipe the right way definitely helps. <laughs> okay, so it's looking like it's shifted that way a little bit, so let's bring it to the center and spin it out. I think I like this one much better, just the general shape. I love that there's a lot of pink. How am I going in the middle? Still a fair bit. Let's move it. Ooh. It's hard because I don't want to lose this bit here. These cells are amazing and so are these, but got to get some paint out of that middle. I think I'm going to stop there before I lose too much. And I'll take you down for a close up. All right, here we go. So that's Beach Pour or Sunset Pour number two. Same colors, very similar colors, bar one or two. Uh, very different result. So halfway through, I had to stop because I swiped and I wasn't happy that I was going to bring some of the pink down as a stripe through the center of my pour. So I chose at that point to flip my spinner, uh, spatula on the side, lift it out, uh, scrape the paint off, put more cell activator on and just start again. Uh, much better to do that than to continue on and get that streak through the middle if that's not what you're after. Uh, I don't know how Shelly does it, where she can just swipe all across the surface and not do that. Um, I haven't figured that out yet, but as soon as I do, you can be sure I'll be sharing that with you. So if you're liking what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.